And today for seniors, September is Fall Prevention Month. Every year, hundreds of older Oklahomans fall. And a broken arm or a hip can lead to a steep slide in the senior's health. Today, Ken Furno is here along with Amy Dimel, who's a registered nurse. And we appreciate you very much for being here because falling can be tragic. I had a friend whose mother fell with tragic results. And so we're going to show you this demonstration that you can do to see, it's called the get up and go, to see if someone you love is really at risk for falls. But first, we need to talk about some of the things that cause falls. What are the factors that are responsible for falling? Well, the, the five main factors for falling are going to be medication side effects. Okay. Uh, you have... Uh, lack of strength and balance, impaired vision, uh, environmental hazards, safety hazards in the house that people aren't normally aware of, and sometimes chronic conditions as well. Chronic conditions would include diabetes, COPD, anything that impairs your ability to be strong, okay. endurance, and have good balance. Now you have a very simple test that we can, it's a very we can take. Yeah, show us mm -hmm. how it works. And Amy, would you describe what we're looking for? Absolutely. You're going to be our guinea pig. Sure. Okay. Scan is going to sit in the chair. This is very easy, something we can do at home. Back is against the backrest. If you have armrest, you can put your arms against okay. that. If you have an assistive device like a cane or a walker, you can absolutely use that. Then Ken will stand up, and at the moment he starts to stand, I'm going to start the timing. He's going to get his balance. He's going to walk 10 feet or about four steps, three meters. He's going to turn around. He is going to come back to the chair. Mm -hmm. He's going to sit Unassisted. down. Unassisted. Okay. He's going to sit down, and as soon as he sits down, the timing stops. And how fast should a, should a senior be able to make that trip? If he can make that trip in less than 10 seconds, that means his mobility is free. He's doing fine. And when should you worry? If we're greater than 20 seconds, our, our mobility is significantly impaired. There's also things to watch for if you have rugs on the floor and th things like that. You need to keep their paths clear. Absolutely. We want to make sure that the pathway that we're walking is unencumbered, that the furniture is out of the way, that things like boots and magazines and papers and blankets are up off of the ground. Good idea. And this is a simple test that we can all Absolutely. do. So we appreciate you both very much for coming here and showing us that. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to meet you. you. Now, if you'd like more information, of course, you might. You can go to our link for Bright Star Care at kfor.com slash links.